Hi, I'm Lori Carroll, and I'm a librarian at the Duluth Public Library. DPL offers many great online resources like ebooks, audiobooks, and magazines that you can download to your mobile device from anywhere. Today, I'm going to take you through the process of setting up the Libby app and checking out an ebook or digital audiobook. Libby is the latest app from Overdrive. You will need a valid library card to access Libby, and you will need to download the Libby app from the App Store on your device to get started. To begin, you can open the App Store, tap Search, and type in Libby. You will see the option for Libby by Overdrive. Tap Download, and once it has finished installing, tap Open. This will open the Libby app and you will be asked if you have a library card. Tap yes to proceed. Next, you will need to search for your library. I will choose the second option on the screen to search for a library. Now I will enter the location of my library, in this case Duluth, the second option to come up is Arrowhead Library System, including Duluth Public Library. I will choose this option. You can use this collection with either a Duluth Public Library card or an Arrowhead Library card. Either will get you access to the same collection. Be sure to choose the correct card type to access OverDrive. I will choose Duluth and put in a card number on the next screen. Once my card number is fully entered, I will choose the option to sign in. Now my library card is linked with my Libby account. I will choose next to enter the library's OverDrive collection. This is the Arrowhead Library System and Duluth Public Library's OverDrive collection. To search for an item, hit the magnifying glass icon in the top left next to search for a book. You can type in a title, author, or genre. I will type in a title. As I begin to type Pride and Prejudice, predictions pop up on the screen and I can choose one if it matches my search. I'll choose the first option. My search results show up on the next screen. The first title on the screen has a pair of earbuds and says audio under the cover photo. This is a digital audiobook. The second title on the screen is an ebook. You can also see the first item has the option to place hold, meaning the title is currently checked out and I can be put on a waiting list to be notified when it will be available. The second title shows the option to borrow, so I can tap on the borrow option and check this ebook out right now. Since I logged in with my library card, it's already linked and I just need to hit borrow once more to check the item out. Before doing this, I have the option to switch the default 14 day checkout period to either seven or 21 days. I'll keep it at 14 for now. Next, I will tap borrow and my ebook will be downloaded. You can see the download progress on the small circle to the left of the book cover. Once the download is complete, a check mark will appear in this circle. Now that the book is downloaded, you can read it from the Libby app anytime, anywhere, even if you do not have an internet or data connection. Next, I will tap open book to begin reading. The Libby app will automatically sync to the last position I read in a book. In this case, I have checked out the title before, so it brought me back to the last page I had read. Using my finger to swipe left and right, I can turn the pages forward and backward to read the ebook. By tapping once in the center of the page, I can bring up the menu options. A few important features are along the menu at the bottom of your Libby app. On the right hand side is the option for shelf. Tapping on the shelf option will bring you to the library loans and holds on your account. From this page, you can choose the option manage loan next to your checked out item to see when your loan is due and to pull up the option to return the loan early. Please note, you do not need to return any items on your own as they will automatically be returned from your account on their due date and you will never get fines from the items on Libby. You can check out up to 10 items at one time. 
Another important feature along the bottom left of your Libby app is the option for library. Tapping this will bring you back to your last search. Tapping library again in the top left of the search screen will bring you back to the main OverDrive page. The third important feature along the bottom of your Libby app is the circle in the middle with the cover of your checked out book. Tapping the circle will bring you back to the ebook or audiobook you've been reading. For one last tip, I will navigate to my shelf by tapping the word in the bottom right of my screen. And when I get to the shelf, I will tap on the icon that shows up in the top right of the screen. This will bring up a menu that includes help and support options if you have further questions or want to learn more about the Libby app. You can also find more information about downloadable content available from DPL by going to the library's website at www.duluthlibrary.org. Thanks and happy reading.